Rogers from Complete Care Animal Hospital in Mount Vernon, Ohio. And today we're going to talk about potty training your puppy. So this is a question I get a lot. We see wonderful new puppies that owners bring in. And one of the main issues we see is we're just having a lot of trouble house training the puppy. A couple of things that I think that make it much easier to get a puppy on a routine schedule and then to get the puppy established and good protocols and so that the puppy knows what's expected of them. So a couple of things. One, I definitely recommend having a good feeding schedule for the puppy. So I don't like to free feed puppies because I always tell clients, puppies are like babies. They eat, they poop, they eat, they poop. So if we can get them eating two or three meals a day, that's a great way to help schedule their poops. So for me, when I have a puppy, one of the things that I like to do is I get up in the morning. As soon as I get up, the puppy goes outside to potty. Usually they're just gonna pee and they're super excited about eating, at least some of the breeds that I have. And then we come back in and we eat our breakfast. Then we go back outside so that we can go potty again. It's important to have a really high value treat with you outside when the puppy's going to the bathroom. And also to have a word that we associate as a reward with that dog. So we all remember Pavlov's dogs, you ring the bell, they salivate that ringing of the bell becomes just as much as smelling a really great food item. So having a good word like yes, yay, good, whatever yours might be for your puppy, and establishing that with a treat. So when your puppy is going to the bathroom, as soon as they're done going pee or poop, whatever it might be, yes, cookie. And that's the best way to mark that behavior. Uh, one area where I find a lot of owners go wrong is they give them treats when they come back in the house. So the only thing that teaches that puppy is that when they come back in the house, magically they get a treat. They have no idea that it had anything to do with them going outside and going to the bathroom. So have in your pocket some high value treat items. Uh, it, it's going to be dependent on what your puppy is. For some puppies, that might be something like a Cheerio. That's really nice. It's easy. You don't <laughs> make a giant mess with it. For some puppies, you might need to do something a little bit more exciting. I like to use um, pill pockets or something that you can break up and they're easy to use. They're kind of smelly so that they like them. You can even use a little can of squeezed cheese and a small little bone cookie. Just something that your puppy really likes that's going to be a high value reward item. So the puppy's outside. It goes pee. Yes, cookie. And then you're outside and you're walking around a little bit longer. And when your puppy has a bowel movement or poops, same thing. Yes, cookie. And so we want to make sure that we're giving them enough time to go to the bathroom and that they understand that we're doing what we're doing out there. If let's say you're out there for 15, 20 minutes and your puppy has not gone potty, then come back in the house and we should put the puppy back in the crate. We'll talk a little bit more about the crate training as well, but a lot of times we'll have owners come in and they say, well, we were outside for 20 minutes, doc, and now the puppy came in and peed on the floor. Well, the puppy was probably distracted by other things, which I get it, but we then let them in the house unsupervised and they're no longer distracted by all the fun stuff outside and they've peed on the floor. So we wanna not give them that opportunity. So it might just be something as easy as you come back in the house, the puppy goes in their crate for five to 10 minutes, you've broken that distraction, we go back outside to go to the bathroom again. So we keep repeating that process until they've done what they're supposed to do. And that's why, again, I think those timing of the meals is very important because we can expect when they're gonna have a bowel movement or when they're going to poop. If they're just eating throughout the day, then we really don't know, hmm, we went out this morning, is this puppy gonna poop or is it not going to poop? So that's where we wanna go along that process. With puppies, I definitely think they should go outside every hour during the day. We wanna to try to not give them the opportunity to make a mistake. We can't expect them to go hours and hours on end without giving the opportunity to go to the bathroom and then be upset when they have an accident. So I like to take mine out at least every hour again, they're not gonna have a bowel movement every time, but they should be able to urinate, run around outside, play. Again, you need to have that high value treat item every single time. Another really good tip, I think, is to not give them too much space in where they can have an accident. So, you know, if you're at home and you're lucky enough to work from home or it's a weekend and you're, you know, meal prepping or whatever you might be doing, you don't want to let that puppy have access to the entire house where maybe they're back in your back bedroom going to the bathroom. We want to shut the doors to the bedrooms. You might use a baby gate so that you can put up some barriers so that they can't, you know, go outside the living room, dining room, kitchen area. Again, it keeps them confined so that you can supervise them and you can watch what they're doing. Very important to not let them make mistakes. It's much easier to reward the good behavior and show them what you want them to do than to try to punish or get rid of bad behavior. Here's the other thing. 
please do not rub your puppy's face in his urine and please do not punish a puppy when you come around the corner and there's pee on the floor and then you yell at it. Your dog does not know why you're mad. It knows that you're mad and maybe you're being kind of a jerk, but it doesn't know that it's there's pee on the floor. And we hear that all the time. Oh, he knows he did something wrong. Well, he might know he did something wrong because you're angry and yelling, but he doesn't know what that something is. Unless you are physically seeing the dog pee or poop on the carpet, we can't intervene. Clean it up and move on. If you come around the corner and the dog's peeing, ah, ah, no, whatever you need to do, pick the puppy up and go back outside, take it outside. When it goes to the bathroom, yes, yay, good. That's where I talk about it's so much easier to reward good behaviors and to try to punish or, or not have them do the bad behavior. So please, please, please don't rub their face in it. We want to reward good things, positive behavior, take it and not frequently. Um, so those are, those are all my good tips. Again, talk about crate training. I'm a huge fan of crate training. Again, the crate should always be a puppy's safe, happy place. Please don't try to punish them and put them in the crate. Don't let your kids get in the crate. Don't be yelling and screaming and all those things around the crate. It should be their 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 she their she shed or their zone of tranquility. That's where we want them to have fun things. You know, if they go in there, they should get toys or treats or other things. We always want it to be happy. I have crates at home. I leave my dog's crates open. Sometimes they're in there on their own. Sometimes they're not. That's the way it should be. We have uh, a young son. We tell him, stay out of the crate. That's not your spot. That's the dog's spot. The dog wants to go away or do things. Great. Let them go in there. That's how it should be. So crate should always be happy, fun, safe place. If, you know, you take the puppy out in the morning and he goes to the bathroom and all that stuff and, ah, oh, it's crazy and you got to get ready for work, don't feel bad about putting them in their crate, letting them hang out in there again. They're in their crate. They're not chewing up your furniture. They're not eating your socks. <laughs> they're not doing all the naughty things that, that puppies can get into. Think about it. You wouldn't leave a baby unsupervised in your house. Why do you leave a puppy unsupervised in your house? That's silly. So we want to make sure that we're not allowing them to get into trouble where they could possibly hurt themselves. But then again, you're giving them an opportunity to fail. So please don't let them do that. So all these things, I think, again, just working, working through the steps and just keeping your puppy on a schedule, letting them go potty. In the evenings before bed, the very, very last thing I do is to make sure that my puppy goes outside to go potty so that they have an empty bladder. I don't let them have a you know big thing of water in their crate or anything because there's, there's no reason for that. They're not going to dehydrate in a six to eight hour time span. And then depending on the size and age of your puppy, they may need to go out in the middle of the night. And you know what? That's part of having a puppy. Just like your baby might not be able to hold it all night. So that's something that depending on the age of the puppy, you might need to do that. So if you all go to bed at, you know, 10 o'clock at night, take the puppy out. You may have to get up at 2 or 3 in the morning, run the puppy out for a quick potty break. Again, have your high value treat item. We're not out at 2 o'clock in the morning to play. We're out there to pee. Yes, here's your treat. We're back in the crate and we go back to bed. So um, those are all the tips and, you know, just following a good regimen will have a happy, healthy, potty trained puppy in no time. One more question I get is about puppy pads. I have owners tell me all the time, oh, we're using the puppy pads for now and then we're going to transition them. If you're not planning on using puppy pads forever, don't use them now. It's very difficult for your puppy to understand that it's okay to pee on the floor on this little pad now, but I'm going to get in trouble if I pee on the floor later. So again, now, sometimes people like to use puppy pads because they live in apartments or they work long days, and that's fine. If you're planning on using them long term, great. We're going to use that as part of our training regimen. But if we're not going to do that long term, then let's not start, you know, that process. So I don't even buy them. I don't use them. Just throw them away. They're, they don't have any purpose in a dog that's going outside to go to the bathroom. We don't want to teach them it's okay to go inside. So if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to always, you know, ask us, ask your regular veterinarian. You know, if you like the content that you've seen here, give us a like, hit the subscribe button. We're happy to uh, uh, have all kinds of different stuff that we're trying to educate our clients on. Thank you. Thank you.